guys, Bretto here. Welcome back to Motorsport Manager International Endurance Championship Series here with Britain Motorsport. Here we are for season number two. We're going to be heading to Milan Grand Prix from Italy. So race number one, brand new season. So going to go through a few quick things. Um, I know we'll, we'll get straight into the race um, last episode, but we'll quickly just double check our drivers. Everybody knows that we're on the same page. Um, Ebony Tyler is still waiting for her to come back with um, our offer, which I'm not really sure who we're going to get rid of to bring her in, but yeah, she's a huge potential, that's definitely the reason why we want her, um, we might even get rid of Kinney if we need to, um, anyway, so we've got Benitez, Shoba, and Lara, car number one, Kung Korn, Marsh, and Kinney, car number two, so car number one's definitely going to be our number one car, well, it is kind of one number one car anyway, but our best drivers will be in that team. Um, we might move things around and try and get equal teams once we um, get Tyler on the team, maybe, fingers crossed. So staff, we've still got Savage as a lead designer, Kevin Sewell and Becky Kitagawa, which Canadian in the name doesn't really sit well with me, it needs to be. Anyway, that's not my issue, but yeah, they're still our race mechanics. Pit crew. Now I haven't shown you guys the pit crew yet, so I've done a lot of upgrading. So our front jack guy will be A lock. 13 front jack, stamina at 72. B way is our rear jack guy of 12 and 85. Now stamina on the front and rear jacks don't drop very much, so don't be concerned if they've got like say 60 or 70 stamina. I mean obviously 100 or 90 will be a lot better than 72, but it's not a big concern. So our tyres and fixing, we've got L Walker and P Houston on the front. On the rears, we've got L Ryan and S Taggart, which are tyres and fuel. So their stamina is okay. Like Taggart's stamina there is probably not the best. Um, be better to have higher stamina than that. But um, our reserve front jack driver is A Astrakantsev. I think that's right. Um, only 72, as I said, but level 12 front jack, which is pretty good. Our rear jack is N Favit, who's here. So rear jack of 12, stamina 94, which is great. So our reserve tires and fixing are Howden, who's 12 and 8. The fixing is not a big issue because that's only in, during the race. And if our reliability is good, we don't need fixing at all. So it's not going to matter, unless of course we get damage or something. But um, um, yep, so Howden and Al Ghazali, uh, our reserve tyres and fixing dry, uh, pit crew, um, and our tyres and fuel are Harnwell here, 11 and 11, and Rorb, 11 and 10, both are pretty good stamina. So we'll continue to try and improve these guys and hire new guys, but you know, when you go to hire these guys, because you're 12 grand per race, plus 200,000 up front to hire them. So, it's a little bit of cost as well involved. Um, so, we're going to go to the Milan Grand Prix. So, everything's pretty well crucial. We didn't do too well here last season. But hopefully, we'll, we'll do a bit better here. So, we're going to go with 4th or above. Um, this 10th or above is not even really worth it. Tire selection. Probably going to go with, say, 5, 5... Five, five, and five, I guess. Um, actually, let's take let's take one of each of these out. I think seven, four, and four. I'm gonna try and potentially do a little bit different this season, strategy-wise, um, depending on how far the softs go. Um, I can always put soft tires on with Benitez start of the race. She can do half an hour, bring her back in, new set of softs, more fuel, send her back out again, and then we can do a driver swap after the first hour or whatever. You know, change things up a little bit and just see how we go. Um, part fitting should all be good because nothing else is at the reliability stage that we require. So let's continue on. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll get stuck into practice, come back when we're ready to hit qualifying, Race number one, season two, the Milan GP in Italy.
Righto guys, back. Practice is done and dusted. Practice went really well. Car 1 was first, car 2 was second. We know that doesn't mean anything, but we're going to put um, Shoba and Lara in the car this time. Car number 1. Uh, car number 2, we're going to go with Kung Corn and Marsh. Knowledge is level 3, soft tyres, level 2, quality trim. And we've got purples across the board, so look good for quality. Uh, we'll send out Kung Corn straight up. Send out Lara, or Shobra I should say, not far behind. We'll go times 12 and then um, slow it down when they're ready to start their first lap. Overheated perfect, overheated good. So no water on track at the moment. See how they do first sector, see which car's faster. Car one's faster with Shobra. Sector two. Car one's faster again with Shoba. So Kun Korn's going to cross the line with a 23.6 and a 23.3 for Shoba. Okay. Ooh, 23.2 for Sederin. Sederin. So close. Third and yeah, 11th at the moment. Not so good for car two just yet. Do the usual thing. We will swap drivers. Um, tie choice. We're going to have two for the race if we use all these. Um, same with Shoba. Put Lara in. Car setup's all good. New set of softs. Off they go. It's the fastest lap is a 23.224 at the moment. Overheated perfect. Perfect, perfect here for Lara. Hopefully Lara can pump out a pretty good time here. Marsh is up the first sector, so is Lara. But sector 2, have a look down here for Marsh. Point 0.1, point 0.1 as well for Lara. Marsh is going to cross the line with a 23 flat. And a 23 flat as well for Lara, well done. Two pretty good bloody times there. I don't know if that 23 flat's going to be beaten. So we're going to need Shoba and Kung Korn back in the car. So if Kung Korn can really improve that time, we're going to bump us right up there. Okay, Kung Korn back in. Tire choice, another set of softs. Lara can put Shoba back in. Another set of softs. Off we go. There's still no water around, which is good. So we really need to focus on Kung Korn here. Hopefully she can put out a rip of time. Perfect and good. Perfect, perfect for Shoba. No traffic at the moment. It's going to be handy as well. See how Kung Korn does sector 1. She's down point 0.1. 0.006 there for Shoba. 0.2 for Kung Korn. 0.065 for Shoba. Come on, Kung Korn. You need a better time than this. Crosses the line. It's improved a little bit. 23.5. Uh, what about Shoba? 23.2. So still another pretty good time. It's just Kung Korn now that needs to go back out for another lap. So my time, bring them both in and just leave it for a little while. And send Kun Korn back out again. Let's go now, I think. Um, tire choice. I'd really like to save these tires for the race, so let's just uh, put it on the same set. Don't worry, off you go. See if you can improve. I'm not going to worry about car one. Car one's got pole for the moment. Perfect, perfect for Kung Korn. Let's see how she goes. Hopefully she can put out a pretty good time here. Point one, first sector. She doesn't need to improve by a lot. Point two. Come on, Kung Korn. She's done a 23.5. 
first lap. Improve a little bit. 23-4. It's got up in the fourth. Well done. Happy with that. First and fourth. Very happy. Now let's times it by 12 and see how we go with pole wise. Still got pole. Well done. First race season two. It's looking good. Looking very good. Can't complain with that pole position. First race of the season. We just need to get the right strategy now. It's the main thing. Okay, so we're going to go with no super softs. So we're going to race trim and soft tyres. Tie changes and race trim for that car. Car setup is good. Now, minute 23. Uh, how long do they last? 36 minutes. And 30 laps. So about seven, uh, so 25 laps. I'm thinking of fuel for car one. So car number two. Um, who should we put in first? Concorn or Kinney? Early Marsh has fired up straight away, but so is our other car. So we don't want to have that um, not benefit us at all. Um, so Concorn's really good on tyres. So she can probably get 27 laps. So it's soft, and we go down to, say, 30 laps. Concorn. And see how we go. Try and double spin, double spin, double stint both drivers. Okay, continue. Of course, we've got our um, ERS this season to use as well. So we'll try and use that straight away. Times by 12 until we get around to the start finish line. Everyone else is on hards and medium, so it's interesting. Interesting start. But we're currently first and fourth, that's where our starting positions are. Let's just hope that we can have a really good start here. There we go, and we're green. Uncorn's dropped a couple of spots already. Back up one. Hopefully it's not going to affect us too much. Just back up into fourth. We can't corn. Benitez has got through really well, actually. Uncorn still back there. Fourth spot. So we probably will give a bit of a boost here. Not too much you can flat out boost. Everyone's pretty well boosting at the moment. Uncle Horn's just going to hammer through here. Uh, Benitez has dropped back to second. Go back to neutral with tyres. Go back to neutral as well. We might save some boost there with Concorn. See if Benitez can push through. Go back to this medium, medium with fuel as well. So there's Dreyfus just ahead. On hard, so Benitez really needs to just get through here. There we go. Uncle can do the same, boost a little bit. Down to about 30%. There we go. Both the cars ahead is what we want. 23-0 for Benitez's last lap. It's a ripper of a lap. Just PB to first sector as well. So it's looking good. Really just need to pull away from the cars around us. Let's um, give Benitez full use of the ERS now. See what she can do. She might be able to catch up to the back of Benitez. I know I'm battling for position, but get them close to each other. We've got six seconds on position three. So that's looking good for us. Doing really well. Let's um, give Benitez 
full booster here. Still, we've got a massive gap now. Back to third spot, eight seconds. We'll go to times four now. So tyres, what's the temp on track? 19 degrees, so that's not too bad. She's still fired up, she won't be fired up too much longer. Sort of times, 26s, Dreyfus is doing 24s. That's interesting. Benita has the full boost. Give Kung Korn the same. That's a little bit better. 28s, 29s for third and fourth spot. 26, 7 for Benitez. She's got a fair gap back to Dreyfus now. Even Kunkorn, she's eight seconds behind. Let's go. Let's go to high with both. Fuel numbers. Yeah, we'll be fine. We need a pit anyway. Can't see any rain around at the moment. Need it to get through to the half an hour mark at least. Uh, we're fine with both. Have a quick look. Um, I'm trying to find my calculator on my phone. My phone's updated and I can't see anything yet. Let's go back to just times four. Oh, I'll do a quick calculation. So doing some minute 26s, so... 30 minutes times 60 seconds is 1800 divided by... That's 80... 88, maybe? 87? Let's go 88, just to be certain. So 20 laps is what we'll get half an hour so give them both 20 laps of fuel I think she's fired up so you can go to overtake while you're fired up yeah Benitez has got worn tyres we'll bring her in next lap I think let's go overtake attack she can stay in the car another set of softs um I said 20 laps so we'll go yeah 20.0 parts are okay I'm not going to risk a recharge. We're going to go for balance stop. So Benitez is in. It's going to look at Kung Korn. Go back to neutral. She and tyres are all done. Fuel's done. She'll be back out pretty quick. She'll be back out in the last spot, but you can go push and. Um, medium I guess. My corn's still fired up. I might bring her in this lap though because tyres are going to be the issue. Um, I said 20 laps so I might give her 18. There we go. Got the push till she comes in. Doing 26s, so even Anderson's quicker for some reason. Got plenty of boost, so let's use a bit of boost here with Kung Kong. Oh, with, um, sorry, Benitez. Tires are done, fuel's going in. Give her a, oh, so give her a full boost. There we go. Even Benitez has a flat out boost as well. Go back to neutral the tyres. Boost makes a massive difference. 117.5, wow. Concorn's fired up and she's boosting, so see what she can do. Twenty seventeen five Benitez. Uncorn's gonna cross the line. Nineteen nine, so still pretty good time. Alright, go back to times twelve now. 
So we're currently still first and second now. The guys that have pitted once. So we'll work it out for an hour. 60 times um, 88. It's 5280 divided by. That's not right. 60 times 60 divided by 88 is 40 laps we need to not have to pit after a full stint. 40 laps. Now can we go with tyres? 41 laps. Hards. Could be interesting. We could go like a medium and a soft stint. I'll have to just wait and see, I suppose. We're definitely going to send Kinney out in a set of softs when it's her turn to, to be out on track. So Benitez is right there with the car ahead. There we go. Everyone else has pitted already, so you can go back to push. Go back to push. Uncorn's got low stamina, yep. She'll be fine, I'm sure she will. Uh, you'll be right, Concorn. Don't worry too much. We'll get you out of the car very soon. After the hour mark. We might chuck in Kinney. Go back to neutral. You can go back to neutral. Put Kinney... Send Kinney out in a set of softs, I think. Benitez can boost a little bit there. So Kunkhorn will come in next lap. Okay, Kinney in. Tire choice, another set of softs. Uh, fuel options will go um, 20 laps. Brakes are not too bad, I suppose. Balance stop. So we're still effectively first and second. Now the guys that are pitted once. The Kunkorn's going to be in this lap. Pushing high when they come out. When Kinney comes out. I will apologise, guys, if my voice sounds a bit funny. I did get a wisdom tooth pulled out today, so I may slur my words or sound really stupid at times, but there's not much I can do about it, I suppose. So we go, that's Kinney in the car. Now we've got Benitez. She can come in this lap. Uh, we'll put Shober in. Um... How many laps did I say? That's the question. How many laps per hour? 40 laps per hour. Uh, let's go a set of mediums. Fuel options will go. We'll just go 40. Now should be good. Get Benitez to push hard, boost much as she can go medium push when you come out show is gonna jump in the car let's see how far we drop down the order now so fuels going in what do you want lots of fuel we're out there goes Kinney, so I dropped the order a little bit. Let's see how Shoba goes though in the car. Kinney's doing okay. 26 is last lap, pretty competitive times. Put it back to neutral medium now. Not a lot going on, so we'll time's up by 12 again. So 
see what we can do. We can close on both the girls. We're the only cars that have pitted twice now. Shoba last lap did a 28-0. Kenny did a 27-4. So those soft tyres are helping a little bit. So Kenny's going to be fired up very soon. I want to see if she can pump out a really good lap next lap around. We'll slow it right down. We'll go. Overtake, attack, and boost for Kinney. Times up by four and see what sort of lap time she can pull out here. She's moved up to 17th spot. Still got plenty of boost left. She's got a ripper time actually. Come through and go medium neutral. Sort of time that she pull out there at 118.7. 10 seconds, that was a great time. Shea will be fired up very soon as well. So we'll do the same with her for her first lap. So we'll go overtake the attack and full boost for Shoba for a whole lap. Make a move. There you go, it's one spot. She's doing okay, let's go medium high. She did a 20.0. A pretty good time. Probably could have been a little bit quicker, but had a bit of traffic there, so. Can't do much about it. So we've got Kinney's in fourth at the moment. Shoba's in sixth. We've still got to wait to the end of the race to see how our strategy plays out for us. Hoping it's going to work well. Go back to neutral with Shoba now. So Kinney's doing 26s, 26-6, 27-0s for Shoba, so the times are fairly good. Can't complain about it either. Let Kinney attack a little bit more. You can do the same. Push. Use a bit of boost. Kinney's only got four laps left. The fuel. another half an hour out of her. I don't know if we will. We'll bring her in next lap. Okay, so we'll bring her in. Ellie Marsh will put her in the car for an hour. We'll give her... I don't know if she's going to go with the mediums or not. 48 minutes. We'll go set of hards. Um, we'll give her... 40 laps. Brakes are looking a bit dodge. We'll see what happens, I suppose. And we can bring either Kunkorn back into the end or even Kinney back in for the last stint. Shoba can go back to neutral. So Kinney is going to be in this lap. It'll be our third stop. how they go. Jacks are all done well. Driver swap still going according to plan. What about tyres? All done pretty well at the same time. Fuel's pumping in really, really quick. 54.6. Great time. We're a full boost. Go to times 12 now. See how she goes. She's moved up a spot already. Back to push as well. Showbart, she's 22 seconds off a lead from Walnut. Uh, is that the new team that's came back? Mont Montpellier Motorsport it is, so... They're the new team that's been dropped down from the A-Class. A-Class side of things. 
We'll go back to medium. Uh, both girls are doing pretty good. I'm a little bit worried about Shoba with these tyres. Just getting through to that hour mark. She's got another 20 minutes to go, so she's gone around about 30% for every 20 minutes, so not too bad. But our last driver in will be Lara. I'll we'll have to send her out in the set of hards just to make sure. Don't have to pit again. Give Shobra a good boost here. Do the same with Marsh. Shoba's right behind first spot now. A couple of seconds behind. Go, Oop, go back to attack. Yeah, we know we still got well, another 13 minutes before we're gonna bring you into pit. How long will these hard tires go for? That's the question. 75 minutes. So about, yeah, should be okay. So we won't, we might not leave her out too much longer. See how we go, but I want the tyres to get too burnt out, so it's going to slow her down way too much. Maybe an hour, maybe next lap will bring her in, I think, Shoba. 26%, they're 30%, so I'll go this lap. Bring her in, Lara can go in the car. Actually, I'm not sure about if she's going to make it to the end or not. And stamina. Might just have to make it work. Um, give her 40 laps of fuel. And she can go. Okay, so Shoba's in the pits. See how they do. You can go back to neutral. Should be our last stop. All good. Everything's going well. 54.7. Go medium, but you can still attack a little bit. Short little boost ain't going to do much. Give Marsh a bit of a boost. What's going on here? Lara seems to be really struggling. She's fired up. She should be pushing through fairly well. Anyway, we'll go back to times 12. Keep an eye on the girls' tyres and all that sort of stuff. So we're in 5th and ninth at the moment. Just going to see how the rest of this race plays out. We might put... Oh, put Kunk Horn back in the car for the last little stint, I think, would be the way to go. Should go back to neutral. Lara is still in 20th. Not too far behind Fawcett. Marsh is now up into 4th. Now drop back down to 5th. Now down to 6th. Not sure if she made a mistake there somewhere. Go back to push. Give her a bit of a boost. All the cars are nice and close just ahead of her there. Brake conditions low, 23%, 17% on that side, so we might need to look at brakes there for car two. Up into fourth, in sixth now. Go back to neutral with Lara. have to give out a full boost so not far off the lead at the moment with Marsh no, she's got low stamina um, we'll come corn in how long we haven't got a fresh set have we uh, it's like 20 minutes we'll put a fresh set of mediums on which will give us 55 minutes so we'll leave her out for a little bit longer, maybe until 40 minutes to go. Um, 
or a bit less than 40 minutes. Maybe less than 38. If we're going to put Kung Korn back in the car. Back to neutral. Lara. We go to push. Sorry, we'll push with Lara. Neutral Marsh. Let's have another look. So we need to go soon, I think. We'll bring her in. With Marsh. Bring her in this lap, I think. Let's go. Overtake and attack. Pit. Put Kung Korn back in the car. Fresh set of mediums. So we're going to have, say, 38. So we'll do 38 times 60. It's 2280 divided by a minute 28. So that's 88 seconds. 26 laps of fuel. Okay, we'll go. There we go. 27.7, just in case. Fix those brakes just in case as well. Give her a full boost. See what she can do. Straight in the pit, so she should be good in lap. Punkhorn's going to come in the car for the last little stint. Unfortunately, we're going to have to repair the brakes, which is going to take a fair bit of time. Here we go on brakes. Where is she going to come out? Fourth and sixth at the moment. She's going to lose a couple of spots here. here go push and medium. In 20th at the moment. So a quick look at Lara. She's still doing okay. And times it by four. Got cars just ahead of Lara. Just up around here. It's her next target, 15th and 14th. Yeah, hopefully you'll be fine. Can't afford to come back in and pit. So Fearon's retired, mechanical issues. That's Kung Korn going, still got 10 seconds to the car ahead. Doing okay though. So Lara's got oh, just under two seconds to the car ahead for third spot. So I think Noir and Monsave are going to have to pit again, I'm hoping. Handwind won't have to, so it's going to be a battle between us. If we can get this spot or not. Depending on fuel, of course, for Handwind. Might have to come in and pit for fuel. Mara's form is not good, though. It's 3.5. Go back to neutral with Lara. Sorry, come corn. Gonna do another quick calculation. But 20 laps of fuel for the last stint of the race, 20.4 or so. Lara might need to conserve a little bit towards the end of the race. We'll have to wait and see. Should have extra for Kung Korn. On Lara, it's at 21st. It's Dreyfus. Smash through on boost. That boost is just amazing. How quick that actually makes the cars. That boost. It's pretty good. Let's boost Kunk Horn and go to push as well. 15th spot, just up ahead. Is four seconds ahead now on Salve, but they're gonna have to pit again. Lara's batting away with 21st spot. Let's get her to push through a little bit. There we go, Kunk Horn's fired up. Let's see if she can get up a couple more spots. Have a look at the brakes, still 13%. Oh, there we go, there's 21st spot again. Getting in our way again, Dreyfus. 
That's 15th spot just ahead. They've used boost to pull away. Gone back. The gap's gone back out to about a second and a half. Boosted again, but I think they're going to have to pit anyway, so I don't think it's going to open too much. So Noir, who's in first at the moment, Monsalve, who's in third, is going to have to pit again. And when should be okay. Come on, Noir. Little boost. There we go. Come on, we'll go back to neutral. Alright, it's moved up to 4.6 with form. Kung Korn's dropped from 10 down to 8. So I'm not sure if the strategy is going to pay off for us, to be honest, guys. Or should we just be doing, you know, the usual two-stopper? I don't know. Lara's starting to get tired as well. Go back to low fuel, I think, just to make sure we're going to make it. Brakes are still at 13%. It's up to second now, so let's give her a boost. Oh wow, brakes are at 1%. I'm going to have to bring her in. going to have to um, put Benitez back in. Why not? Go to a set of softs. Fuel options. We'll have another quick calculation. So 20 times 60 is 1200 divided by 88. 13.6 laps of fuel. Okay, so let's just give a give a two laps of fuel in case we need it. Fix the brakes. Um, I don't know if we should go for a risky stop or not. Let's go for a fast stop. See what happens. We haven't done one yet, so. See what happens. So Lara's in this lap, Kunk Horn's still going. Got a car just ahead, so we'll give her a bit of a boost. See what she can do. I think she got that spot. Come on, Lara. It's gonna be tight. Fifth and sixth at the moment. Go back to high. Or medium, I should say. Still got the rear wing issue. She's okay on that side. Let's go Benitez. Needed to pull away a little bit. But that's us up into fourth and fifth now. Huge gap to third. Back to neutral. Benitez is still fired up. There's no one else in the pits at the moment. Both got excess fuel at the moment, so we should be okay. Let's keep it a close eye on tyre wear. How's Silvera going times? 27.5, we're doing 26.2s. 27.7s for Kunk Horn. Quite a bit, but only got a little bit. Okay, go to high use if you like. So that's up in the third and fourth. He wins in the pits as well, actually. Need to boost, just boost both of them. Hand win, that's what we're looking at. On their way out, the girl's gonna be right behind, not too far away. Back to neutral. You can go back to push. It's only what, four seconds off. Second position. Still got a bit of excess fuel there. Cun corn does. So we're comfortable third and fourth at the moment. Adams was in the pits long enough. I think if we didn't have these brake issues with Benitez, we probably could have been in the lead. This is the first race of the season though, so it's to be expected we're going to have mechanical issues. It's like probably most cars around us are having the same sort of deal, same issues. It's 
It's only nine minutes to go now. We should have plenty of excess fuel, I think. So Chan A has mechanical issues, which isn't in a car that's in our class. Benitez has another boost. Do the same with Kung Corn. Put it back to neutral. Still got a five second gap. Back to second spot there for Benitez. Not sure if she's going to catch up or not. The leader's all the way up here. Toliso. Still got a little bit of excess fuel. Let's go back to push. Let's have a look at boost. Adams and Toliso both have heaps of boost left. Heaps there if they need it. 18% wing. Cars 2 is fine. Still 6 seconds away Benitez is unfortunately. think she's going to quite catch up. Had a lot more boost, she might be okay. Got three minutes to go. The race is over. Three wins at 3%. Wow, car one's been pushing way too hard this race. 4.1 seconds now. Benitez is off second spot. Gap is slowly growing though. Go back to neutral. Still third and fourth. Can't complain too much. It's still going to be a pretty good result. Could have been a lot better if we didn't have to fix our brakes and that sort of stuff. But um, race one of the season, qualifying on pole with car one is pretty good in its own right. Then us having to um, well, finish third and fourth is pretty good, so can't complain at all. Do one more lap, I think. Overtake an attack. You can do the same. Put the car right up your clacker. It's Walnut. It's right behind Concorn at the moment. See if we can make it to the end without losing a spot here. Oh, has got a little bit of boost, but not as much as us. So third, oh, third and fourth. Good result. Cannot complain at all with that. That's still the race one of the season. Happy to finish third and fourth. Would have been much better with a win. But we'll take it. Definitely take third and fourth. Let's see if anybody gets, gets caught cheating. I don't think they will. No, so third and fourth. We lost one spot there. Actually, yeah, okay, because we qualified 13th, didn't we? Gain one for Concorn. So third place. Could we screenshot that because I don't have a third place trophy yet. So sitting third and fourth. What about constructors? Down by eight points. That's okay. There's something about the name Britain Motorsport has a beautiful ring to it. It does, doesn't it? The Vendana. It sure does. Well, that strategy. Um, I don't know if it paid off for us or not. I really don't think it did. Um, I'm thinking maybe Kinney is the one to maybe go on that strategy. The other three drivers for car one will stay on the harder compound. Car two, the guys can stay on the harder compound as well, except for Kinney who can go on the either medium or the softer compound. Um, okay, well Schrober didn't have any improvements there for some reason. Not sure why. What about these guys? Big improvements there for Kung Korn. Marsh didn't gain anything, but huge losses there for Kinney because of her age, of course. So Kinney will be the one that we um we will get rid of when time comes to sign our new driver, which I don't think 
is the time yet. Um, no, it doesn't actually say. Where are we? Drivers. Adjust. Or did we not re-offer? I don't think we did because of the amount, did we? 560. It's going to cost us a lot of money because Kinney is only getting paid 43,000, but she's not ideal. Could maybe offer a long contract and give her one more click. See what happens. So we'll quickly go to the pit crew, guys. Um, and I'll show you what we look for. So the new a couple of new guys have arrived. Um, front and rear jacks are good there. But the tyre changes are terrible, so nobody outstanding, I guess. So we won't look at hiring any new guys, but um, we'll continue. What are we doing here? Um, brakes research and development. Yep, we'll continue to do that. We'll continue to build some new brake parts. Uh, we'll also hopefully continue to improve race after race. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment let me know how you thought we did strategy-wise. I don't think we did great. As I said, I think car one will do the harder compound with each three drivers. Car two will do harder compound with Concorn and Marsh. And then Kinney will probably have her come out on the medium compound and maybe put either Concorn or Marsh back in just for the... The last little final stint of the race because I don't think um, Kinney will get the full hour out of her because she's got so, such low stamina. But um, yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you tick the little bell next to it to receive a notification every time I upload so you don't miss a thing. It's been Pritos Gaming. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.